Hey y'all. So, this is my second time making this video. So if this one gets interrupted, I'll probably just post the other one. But it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Because we're doing something different this week. And you're probably like, man, you say that every week. Lately, yeah, I guess I have been. But, uh, first some housekeeping. Uh, mentioned in the last video about the podcast I was going to start. So, that's up and running. I'm not saying you can just run to iTunes and get it, because I haven't really figured out how all that distribution stuff works yet. But I got two episodes up of the podcast, so if you watch these videos and you're like, you know, I'd just rather hear him talk because he's not all that good looking. I got a solution for you. Podcast. That way you can just listen to my horrible voice and not have to worry about my face. But uh, I got two episodes. It's kind of the same as what I do here in the videos. Just a little bit different, not the same topics. Like uh, those videos I was posting for uh, This Week in Heresy, instead of posting them on YouTube now, I made that a segment on the podcast. And uh, the ep I got episode three, I recorded like last Friday, but I'm not going to post it until this Friday. But I'm trying to keep ahead so that I can get an episode posted every week. Unlike videos where I might get to make one every week, I might not. So uh, that's that. That's available. I use Spreaker. I use Spreaker to, you know, host it. That's what the word is, host it. But if you're on my Facebook page, I've been posting the links on there. So um, we're going to figure some more out about the distribution side so I can get it out on iTunes and whatever else, however else that works. It is a learning process. But today, instead of just doing a lesson on something like I usually do, or trying to explain what the Bible says about a certain topic, I was reading a devotional, because I read two devotionals uh, every day. Well, three, really, because I got this one, and I just, but I just leave this one at work because the devotionals are so short. I just come in in the morning and read it. I don't know what my session was with devotionals, but anyway, most devotionals I find are pretty garbage, to be honest with you. They have no substance to them. They're just like somebody posts a Bible verse and then gives you some happy thought about it. And uh, that doesn't do me any good. I don't know, maybe all these uh, experience-driven, emotional-type Christians out there, maybe that does them a bunch of good. They read a Bible verse and someone probably takes it out of context and says, this is what this verse means to you, so you can be happy today. So none of that does it, but that, I'm just chasing rabbits again. Sorry about that. That don't do nothing for me. But I read My Utmost for His Highest. That's the one I just recently, well recently, as in last couple of months, got that one by Oswald Chambers. And of course, I read Morning and Evening from Charles Spurgeon. So uh, those are two good ones, by the way. And I got the old school. You can get the modern day version of the Spurgeon one, because uh, it's kind of like he's, you know, he was a long time ago, so he kind of talks in English of a long time ago. But I like that. So, but you can get it in where he speaks like normal everyday today language. But one of them I was reading, I think it was Spurgeon's, and he mentioned this. He mentioned these two verses here. And it made me, I got to thinking about them. I got to looking at them. I was like, man, there's so much good stuff in these verses. So I'm just going to do a video on these two verses. I mean, I guess you could call it like a Bible study kind of video or something. Whatever you want to call it. I just thought there's some good stuff in here. I, I chased down some references. 
and you know they're not necessarily references that were from the center column but this verses that came to my mind as I was reading it but uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4 yeah 2 Timothy 4 16 and 17 and Paul's speaking at my first answer no man stood with me but all men forsook me I pray God that it may not be laid to their charge Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, that by me the preaching might be fully known, and that all the Gentiles might hear. And I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. So that first part, I pray God that it may not, after everybody abandoned him, and he says, hey, all these people who I thought I could trust, they abandoned me. And he says, I pray God that it may not be laid to their charge. Because if there's one thing you can't accuse Paul of, it's not living like Jesus. I got itchy nose, y'all. And this part, and I got something else here, but it reminds me of Jesus on the cross. He's saying, Father, forgive them, for they know what, not what they do. Or Stephen when he got stoned. But the first verse that came to mind when I read that was Matthew 5, 44. Where Jesus says, But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. And here's Paul doing just that when he says, I pray God, that it may not be laid to their charge. Ooh, there we go. And then in 417 where it says, The Lord stood with me and strengthened me. And I don't need to tell you that one. But I will anyway. Philippians 4.13 The one verse everybody likes to take out of context. I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. Because if you, you know, like I've said before, if you read it in context, you understand that Paul's not saying, I can do whatever I put my mind to. Because that's how people use it nowadays. Oh, I got something tough I got to do. I can do it. Because Christ strengthens me. But what Paul's saying, but what Paul was trying to say was, no matter what comes my way, good circumstances, bad circumstances no matter what I can I can get through it because Christ strengthens me and then it says here after everybody forsook him nobody's around the Lord stood with me and strengthened me even when everybody abandoned him he still wasn't alone and then he says by me the preaching might be fully known and that all the Gentiles might hear. But we all know Paul had a one-track mind and that was evangelism. Especially to the Gentiles so that they would hear the gospel and get saved. So Romans 10, 14 which you probably know says how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed and how shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard and how shall they hear without a preacher so Paul's saying I had a job to do sorry if y'all can't see me up here Paul's saying he had a job to do right but everybody abandoned him but the Lord did not abandon him because like the Bible says he's a friend that sticks up closer than a brother and because of because of the fact that the Lord stood with him and strengthened him he was able to perform his job preaching to the Gentiles so that they'll know the gospel but what is the point in all that what, why, what was the point in me going through all that because 
This is called Gospel Over Gimmicks. So I just want people out there, maybe watching this video, not necessarily just lost people. Say people going through a hard time, you feel like you've been abandoned, and you feel like there's no one around that understands. Uh, you know, I'm a pretty solitary person. And then, you know, that, I'm not saying I don't have friends. I have friends, but the majority of the time I prefer just to be by myself. That's just the personality I have. But uh, some people, they don't choose to live solitary. Sometimes it's just forced upon them. They just don't have nobody. And they get to feeling lonely, like no one cares. And they don't have anybody to talk. Trust me, I get situations every now and then where I'm just like, I wish I had somebody to talk to. But we got Jesus to talk to. We can talk to God. And uh, so if you're out there and you're not saved, Jesus ain't no big deal to you. You don't know who he is. He's just some historical character. And you get tired of us Christians trying to tell you he's a whole lot more than just a historical character. Maybe now would be the time to take us for a word. Maybe now would be the time to uh, ask Jesus to be your Savior and your Lord. And then, where it said, well now I've closed my notes, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me. There come a time where you think that everybody's abandoned you and then you'll recall, oh wait, now I'm a child of God. So God is with me and he'll strengthen me. And you don't have to worry about that when you're a child of God. But if you're watching this and you're not a child of God, then you're pretty much on your own, ain't you? So, today is the day of salvation, as the Bible says. So, there's no time like the present. You say, well, one day I'm going to get saved. But right now i got so much stuff I want to do. And then you might die tomorrow. So, I'm just saying, it might be a good time to consider it. Especially if you're in a spot where you're feeling lonely, down. Sorry, I'm stirring my noodles. Jesus will stick with you. And uh, I can't tell you how many times I've been doing this, you know, making the videos. Now I'm making podcasts. Then I got to manage the Facebook page. And it's not a thing you can just throw together. I have to be obedient to what God lays on my heart. Be, you know, listening for it. But I got to be in the Bible because that's how God talks to you. And uh, I got to put it together in a way I can give it to y'all. I can't just oh, let me tell you what I heard, even though that's kind of what I'm doing this week. But for the most part, I did write notes though for this week. I got to be on my toes. And sometimes it can be a lot of work. Especially when, it, you know, a week's gone by. I haven't made a video. I'm like, I just don't know what to do a video on, Lord. But I feel like I need to put something out there. And then, like a, I'm on, on top of that, you know, I'm working a full-time job. Going to school. And then, you know, YouTube, podcast, Facebook channel, or Facebook page. And uh, sometimes I'm like, why am I doing all this? Like, why am I doing all this? This is such a burden. And then, that's when God will send somebody. It's happened twice now. I've been doing this here, a little over a year. And it's happened twice now. Or I've been feeling like overwhelmed by doing all this and God will send somebody by and give me a word of encouragement 
and just random people. People who not necessarily like close in my life, or they just kind of entered my life, or they're just acquaintance or whatever, and they just say, hey, I really like what you're doing, and it's a blessing, keep it up. Stuff like that, and I'm like, okay, Lord, thank you, I needed that. He strengthened me. So if you don't know him today, maybe today's the day you should repent, put your faith in him, so he can strengthen you too. Till next time, take up your cross. Carry on.